What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Andy the Destroyer Ruiz. Andy Ruiz said some surprising news today. He said that it would be a dream to fight Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. Now, he knows that he still has to take on the former unified champion, Anthony Joshua first, get him out of the way, get him out of the way, beat him, then he can focus on his dream fight. You know, something real funny about this, ironically, that it was also Oscar Rivas' dream to fight Deontay Wilder also, and Oscar Rivas and Andy Ruiz have fought before, you know. But this just shows you that these um, these top ten fighters, these you know, uh, right under these fighters, right under the big three or big four now, have big dreams, you know, of fighting the best. In Ruiz's uh, case, he has a good chance to fight Deontay Wilder because they're in the same stable of fighters. Al Heyman can set that fight up, you know. I think that'll be the fight. If, if he can beat Anthony Joshua again, that would be the fight that would be easily made. I know that uh, Wilder has already signed for Fury. And, you know, depending on what happens with that, that fight will be made. That's if Wilder can get past Ortiz and Fury, okay? So... But that fight can be easily made for Undisputed. And then it would be a fight that I would like to see because at least we will have an Undisputed champion regardless of what side of the street it's on, okay? But Andy Ruiz, he's, he's mentioned that before, that he would like to fight Deontay Wilder, you know? And I think really honestly, um, him wanting to fight Deontay Wilder reflects uh, his thoughts on Wilder and Fury. I feel that he thinks that Deontay will take Fury in the rematch because if he's asking to fight Deontay Wilder, I specifically, I specifically remember him saying that instead of saying, hey, I would like to fight for the WBC and dispute it. You see what I'm saying? There's a difference. He just says, oh, my dream fight is to fight Wilder. Assuming Wilder will take out Luis Ortiz again and Fury once again. But I would like to see the fight. Um, that fight would be very interesting to see because it's just a difference of styles and how people match up. And you know what I'm seeing, though? This is what I'm saying about Andy Ruiz. Andy Ruiz is very intelligent when it comes to approaching a certain fight. You see what I'm saying? Like, oh, it would be a dream to fight Deontay Wilder. Think about it. If that fight, if he beats Joshua, right, and Deontay handles all his business with his fighters. Also adding the fact that these guys get along really well. Deontay Wilder has nothing bad to say about Ruiz, right? These guys were high-fiving and chest-bumping, you know, when they were being interviewed by, you know, reporters and, you know, um, at fights and stuff like that at live events. And there's no bad blood, right? <laughs> now, the thing is that that fight can be easily made. We've already discussed that. So I think Andy's biggest weapon or one of his, or one of his weapons in his repertoire is his attitude approaching fights, going into possible fights. See, Deontay Wilder doesn't have anything about against Andy Ruiz. Neither did Anthony Joshua. See, you come in with that humble, sweet sounding voice and demeanor, right? Humble and, you know, and nice. And you're like, hey, you know, it'll be a dream to fight Deontay Wilder. And Deontay be like, you know, yeah, we could get it on Andy, right? And then Andy comes in like fucking. <laughs> Wolverine and put them hands on you, then you also you already know that this guy was tricking my ass. He was trying to give me that sweet demeanor, like you know, he was this respectful, humble guy. Then he flips the, the, the script 
you know, he ups the gears. <laughs> he goes from first to six. Now he's beating the brakes off of you, you know. But that demeanor is to disarm you. And it, it, it's a clever, it's a clever way to approach a fight, you know. And Andy is good at doing that, as we've seen in the, Andy, in, in the Anthony Joshua negotiations, how he came to Eddie, Eddie Hearn, how he was just humble and, you know what I'm saying, and hungry. And he was all the things that Eddie was looking for without all the trash talk. Now it's totally the opposite. Totally the opposite. And I just find it hilarious that, you know, he wants like it, the, the words that he's choosing to uh, to invite himself to a Deontay Wilder fight or with Deontay Wilder. You know what I mean? It's so enticing in a way that, hey, how can you deny that? But at the same time, listening to Andy Ruiz, it's a good opportunity. I think I can win that shit. That'll get your ass beat. Because if you hear that too long, you'll be disarmed like old AJ did and get the brakes beat off of you too. But it'll be a different fight. I don't, you know, um, I would, of course, I would love to see it because it, it would be an uh, undisputed fight. But even if, um, even if Ruiz loses, let's just, let's go, let's go down another road. If he loses, that fight can still be made. And I hope by that time that Ruiz has made a Heyman enough money so he can become uh visible and warranted on that side of the street and start giving him some pretty good fights with better opposition you know what i'm saying and i think he's earned his keep you know even if he does lose okay it ain't like he's never lost before he's lost to parker you know what i mean and that's his only loss so if he does lose to anthony joshua i hope that does you know uh boost his popularity on his side of the street so that would be cool too but again uh that looks like a good fight. You guys tell me what you think of Andy Ruiz taking on Deontay, the bronze bomber, Wilder. So the Destroyer versus the bronze bomber, you guys call it. Tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys can counterpunch. Peace.